Let me show you how you can use Cartswell 3000 in the classroom. So you can log into Cartswell 3000 using your Google account, your Microsoft, or you can use your username and password. Once you log in, this is what you will see. You have your universal library, my account. It can be synced to your Google account. You can upload your do documents from your Google Drive, OneDrive, Bookshare, or you can upload anything from your computer. Let's go first in your universal library on the left side. The first thing you will see is your name. When you click this, you will see that you have three folders where you can upload and save your documents. It could be in private folder where it's only you who can see. If you would like other people to see it, then you can uh, save it in your public folder or recently opened local files. When you scroll down, you will see that there are some documents ready for you to use. You have the classic literature, the help files, nonfiction book bag, samples, and templates. Let me show you what is in classic literature. And this is organized alphabetically. If I would go to letter A, F, then it will show me some sample here. And I would like this one to be copied to one or multiple students. I can copy to one student or I can copy to multiple students so I can have a differentiated instruction for the students and then choose which students will get the copy. I will put it in the public a folder of that students and then I'm going to click copy and this will be copied already to those students that I have chosen. So we can have here give students a differentiated uh, homework or assignments depending on the need of our students. Aside from it, you can have this is very helpful for students who don't have enough help at home. So I downloaded this already. So what the students can go is just uh, open it in their folder from their folder and then hit play Each plant and, animal and somebody is going cycle. to read it a to them. The there are options for the students who is going to read. Only they have to do is they can choose any other person to you to read it for them. And I can say Sharon. They can choose the speed of how, how it is read. It can be normal or it could be fast. So I will just put normal. It could be read to them by word, by line, or by sentence, or it could be self-paced. So once you, they choose already what is the audio option, then you can hit play again. Each plant and animal and has a And if you like cycle. it already, so somebody will be helping students already reading it at home. And also, for example, I have here cycle, and the student does not understand what cycle is. Here is a big help. There is a dictionary for the students here. And it will tell them what's the definition or what does it mean by that word. And also, it can give them a picture. Is this the cycle that they are talking about or this cycle? So they, there are plenty of help here. There is synonyms also. And I like this translation. So let me show you how, how it works. So I will put my cursor on the first uh, word. And then I will hit translation. So it's there already. The first line is there already. And because we have plenty of Spanish students, but there are also options here that they can choose. So I will put Spanish, and then I'm going to translate it to Spanish. And because the student does not know how to read, somebody can read it to them. Cada planta y animal tiene un ciclo de vida. Un ciclo de vida es la serie de etapas que todos los seres vivos. All right. So this is a big help already for our students that somebody can... Uh, read it to them. So by this time, uh, all these things that I mentioned to you about Cartswell 3000 is a big help already for students that needs accommodation.